Hello, I'm Eric Ford, and I would like to introduce you to a new social media application for peer-to-peer -peer assessment in higher educational settings, the Mobius Social Learning Information Platform, or Mobius Slip, as we like to call it. In this video, I'm going to explain how the Mobius Slip works to facilitate the management of complex assignments, such as essays and case studies. In this example, you are the instructor for a college course, Let's suppose we have a large writing intensive class such as business communication and there are so many students that grading each paper, much less providing quality feedback, is overwhelming if not outright impossible. There just aren't enough hours in the day. The Mobius Slip is an easy to use solution that creates value for both the students and the instructors. So how does the system work? Well, the class is randomly and automatically divided into groups, and let's say it's about six people in each group. Note that the system conceals the student's identities so that feedback and scoring are anonymous. This helps to ensure objectivity and reduce potential biases in the reviews. Students are emailed their assignments, which will be submitted electronically through the Mobius Slips web interface. The system handles all the logistics for the instructor. The Mobius Slip system allows you to make assignments specific to each group, or you can use one assignment for the entire class. The assignment requires the student to submit three deliverables. Deliverable 1 is where the student creates and submits an activity or artifact. In this case, the artifact is an essay. Students submit their essays, and then the Mobius Slip automatically redistributes them out to every other member of the group. In other words, each member has to read five other members' essays. In Deliverable 2, each student ranks their peers' essays from most to least responsive to the assignment's guidelines. In addition, the students provide written critiques of each of their peers' essays. Critiques are the formative component of assessment, and ranking is the summative component for the assessment. The summative component can be used to generate grades. After the deadline for deliverable 2 closes, each student receives their peers' critiques for their essays, but not the rankings as this might bias their scoring of the critique itself. Simultaneously, the Mobius slip algorithm produces analytic metrics so the instructor can monitor the class's progress. Finally, in deliverable 3, called the concordance phase, each student submits the ranks for the critiques received from their peers based on the quality of that feedback. Once the deliverable 3 period closes, the Mobius slip system automatically computes individual and aggregate statistics for the class. The Mobius Slip outputs a variety of reports and statistics for both students and instructors. The students receive individual summaries, and the instructor receives overall class performance reports. These include a content report with detailed descriptions of each essay, all the feedback, all the scores, including inter-observer reliability scores, and other assessments of how the group's rankings are actually being carried out. Then you're ready for the next assignment in the class. The Mobius slip will automatically re-randomize and reassign students into peer groups. This is important because this re-randomization ensures that statistically reliable and valid assessments are made for each student's performance over the course of the semester. That way, one bad score doesn't really mess them up. There are other options. You don't necessarily have to use the anonymous component. This might be useful for papers where you're doing visual papers. They're going to see who it is anyway. You may not want to use randomized groups. You may want to group for purpose. Also, you have the ability to use relative ratings. In other words, Likert-like scales. Thank you. If you have any more questions, please visit us at www.ctacit.com.